Hello, hello everyone, and uh, welcome to Hadi the Coach TV. My name is Hadlife Muhamba, and I'm the managing consultant of Hadi the Coach International. Our channel is all about empowering job seekers to be the best they can be and to attract opportunities that align to their skills, ability, interest, and interest. So today I want to talk about something that is very, very important in the life of a job seeker. Whether you are a fresh graduate, whether you're a career changer, you know, looking to enter into a different field, or maybe you just want to pivot. So what do you need to do if you want to get the job that you are looking for quicker or faster? In this demanding 21st century, whereby we are seeing the advent of, uh, you know, technology, you know, we are seeing, you know, remote work is gaining more prominence each and every day, of, of course, because of the pandemic. And obviously, just by the advancement of technology that is allowing people to work from home, you know. So, today I want to talk about something that is very, very critical that you can do during an interview that can set you apart from the other candidates, right? I know that, you know, everyone wants to know how do I set myself apart from other candidates? Or how, how can I convince the panel that I'm the best person for the job? All right? So, a lot of people come to me and say, hard life, I have nailed, like, oh, sorry, hard life, I have been shortlisted for this interview with this wow company that I've always dreamt of working for. How do I nail this interview? And I say, what do you mean? And they say, can you give me interview question and answers? And I said, maybe what you need is not interview question and possible answers, but is to understand how do you prepare for a particular interview. All right. Maybe that's what you're looking for. All right. So I always tell my clients that it is very, very important to know how you answer certain type of interview questions. All right. But not having like question and answers. What do I mean? If you come to me and say, how do you answer? Tell me about yourself. Surely I'm not interested really to say, okay, you answer it this way. But I'm more interested in the thought process behind the question, tell me about yourself. So, whenever you are in the interview room and they ask you any type of question, there is a standard way that you're supposed to respond for you to convince the panel that you are the best person for the job. All right? But what is important is that before we go there to say, what is the thought process behind answering any interview question? Preparation for an interview is key, all right? And you can even predict the type of interview questions. <laughs> and yes, I can say it again. You can predict the type of interview questions that you may be asked in the interview. And how do you do that? It's by looking at the job description. Because on the job description, we would have highlighted everything that we want in an ideal candidate. And if you are an ideal candidate... Obviously, you should have elements of what you're looking for. Maybe not 100%. Because if you have 65% match of what you're looking for, we can shortlist you, all right? And in the interview, we are looking forward, you know, to hear more from, you know, what you say you are, you know, in the cover letter and in the CV, all right? So, you can do that. Pre predict our questions by looking at job description. That's number one. But when you're in the interview, and you get, you get asked a question. What should quickly run through the back of your mind is, number one, and listen to this and listen to, to this uh, like carefully. Number one, when you're asked any type, and I repeat, any type of interview question, number one, you should be asking yourself, in your mind, in your brain, all right, why is the interviewer asking me this question? Why? Because there is a certain reason why we have asked a particular question. 
All right. So it is very, very critical to say, okay, if they say, tell me about yourself, why are they even asking me that? All right. So maybe, and just maybe, it's an icebreaker question that they just want to start the interview and try to get to know you. And, but remember, it will set the tone for the interview. So in your brain, ask yourself, why are they even asking me this question? Before you answer, when you're breathing in, and another tip is don't rush. Don't rush, don't rush, don't rush to make or to respond to any type of interview question, whether it's a single person interviewing you or it's a panel. Do not rush. All right? So why is the interview asking me this question? Number one. Number two. Another thing that is very, very critical after why is the interviewer asking me this question? All right. Number two, you should be able to ask yourself and I repeat yourself and in your brain and not in the interview. What are they hoping to hear? Because we, we are hoping to hear certain things when you are responding to any type of interview question. So ask yourself, what are they hoping to hear? Number three. Number three, what experiences from my past best fit what they're looking for? Now you are able to say, okay, when I was working for company X, all right, I managed to increase sales by 20% through implementing certain, certain strategies. All right. Now you are saying, okay, from my past experiences, you look back and say, what matches what they're looking for? All right. And then you can respond because it will tell us more about you being an achiever or about the impact that you expect to get from you all right, when you are now employed at our company. All right. Then number four, which is last, what are the major takeaways that the interviewer is about to get from the answers that I'm about to provide? The yeah, major takeaways. All right. If you look at politicians, when they're on a rally, they always repeat certain things. You know, they always, you know, you know, make sure that major you always get the major takeaways, even after a one hour presentation. So even yourself, what are the major takeaways that the interviewer is about to get from the answer that I'm about to provide? I call this the thought process of answering any type. And I repeat any type of interview. That's the thought process. All right. And if, if you follow this thought process, believe you me, you will nail any type of interview question. So when you're practicing your interview question next time, make sure that you use this thought process or you use this type of skill. And you'll see that you will nail a lot of interview questions in future. Thank you very much for watching this video. The first video um, for Hadi the Coach in 2022. No, the second actually. <laughs> Time flies, man. <laughs> the second video uh, for Hadi the Coach TV in 2022. 2022 is a year of getting jobs. All right. And we are, we are going to be there for you. All right. So what is important is subscribe to our YouTube channel. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Uh, click that notification button so that you're notified. All right. Every time we post an interesting and informative video like this one. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much. And as always, God bless.